Well, hello, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a decorating video. I'm so excited to be sharing how I'm going to decorate my mantle for fall with all of you and without using pumpkins or signs or any of the normal um, decorating things. So like nothing from Hobby Lobby or Target or anything. So I scoured <laughs> vintage markets and thrift stores and antique stores. Actually, there is one thing that's going on from Hobby Lobby, but I've had it for such a long time. And then the rest of the things have been thrifted. So I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. For those of you who don't know, hello, my name is Tina. I do all home decor, lifestyle. I'm gonna start to do some more DIYs, just kind of all the fun things that make a house a home. So for today's video, we're doing the mantle and I already had it cleaned off, but this is the mirror that I got off Facebook Marketplace for $20. And I absolutely love it. Let me give you guys a closer look because you really have to see it. Okay guys, so this is the mirror up close and you can just see that beautiful detail, the scalloped edges, my ring light <laughs> and me. But I just absolutely love the woodwork on it, the design, and I just thought it screamed English country. Okay, so I think I have gathered the pieces that I'm going to be using. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. Um, but I just grabbed some things to me that screamed fall in the English countryside. So one of the things, I'm not going to be using florals too much, but I am going to be using pears. And I found these um, a couple years ago. And I actually, I think I got them from Michael's. If I'm not mistaken and they were in a tote so we were cleaning out the shed and there was this you know tote in the back and I'm like what the heck is in there and it were pears and I'm like why haven't I been using these <laughs> so that's what happens when you put things away you totally forget about it but I was going to use pears on the mantle because I thought that was kind of like English country kind of something out of the norm that not everybody does and also to give you guys inspiration you know you don't have to do the usual um, fall touches. I mean, unless that's what you wanna do, but if something else speaks to you, you could do like um, blueberries or other fruits or different flowers. It doesn't have to just be the fall leaves. So I hope you're getting inspiration from this because there's so many different things you could actually do. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to use, and you guys have seen this before, but I'm going to be using this print. And to me, it just looks like an English cottage. And I got it at a thrift store. I'm just trying not, get the, not to get the ring light in there, but you can see it's just like a little cottage and a man and a woman arm in arm. And it looks like a little village and kind of reminds me of where I'd like to live one day. So I thought I would put that up against the mirror. Like that. And the mirror has a little ledge, which is extremely helpful. But <laughs> I thought that would give it a little bit of interest and again, bringing in the English country that I love so much. So that's gonna stay there. Then I have, so this is the one thing I am gonna use that I got from Hobby Lobby. Got it either last year or the year before, I think. But it's just like a garden pillar. It's super, super, super heavy. But I thought I would put that on this side over here. Just like that. And then, so I have my pears, <clears throat> and then I also had this glass vase that I got, I don't even know how long ago, again, buried in that bin with this. <laughs> I'm so sad that I didn't use it last year. So I thought I would just bend the stems of this one and just kind of put them in like so. So I thought that was just like, to me, that does seem like fall in the country. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to pop it right on top, just like that. And I love it. So let me bring you guys a little bit closer. You now you can see it a little bit better, um, but I just love it so much. So I'm going to put that one on this side and I do have a little branch. Let me grab that. <clears throat> so I did have this branch that was just kind of hanging around. I had it in another vase, 
but I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna use it on here and just kind of drape it off to the side, just kind of like branches coming down. So that was my thought. And we'll see if it's gonna work. And that's the great thing about the, the branches or the florals is that you can bend them so you can make them work in the area that you want them to work in. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Just like that. And I'm keeping it very, very simple. So now we're gonna go to the other okay. side. So onto the other side. So I kind of wanted it to mimic the other side, but not to the T, but a little bit. So I had this vase. And it's kind of like um like a balloon vase sort of, but I liked the shape of it and it's taller. I'll just move you a little bit. So I was gonna put that right there. And then I had a couple more, a couple more things of pears. And I just love these. I don't know what it is about them that I'm just so drawn to, but I absolutely love them. So we're just gonna pop these in. Let me move you a little bit more. And like I said, you can bend the ends so they can be as long or as short as you would like them to be. Just like so. So we're gonna leave that just like that. Now I also have <clears throat> So what I also have is I have two LED candles. So I thought, what a pretty touch for fall. I kind of nestle them in a little bit. And these are the kind that actually have a little bit of a flicker to them. So it's so pretty. Just like that. And then I have one thing left. So I have one more branch. So I don't know, I kind of thought of draping it kind of up there, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I need a step stool, so I'll be right back. Okay. Well, the step stool didn't work, so I actually had to climb on the chair and hunch over, but I got it up there. So let me just show you a closer look. Okay guys, so this is the finished mantle, and like I said, I just kept it so simple, so English country and I just absolutely love it. And I did get the branch up there, kind of wrapped it around. So I had a branch at the bottom and at the top, and I think it looks so beautiful against the brick. And I absolutely love it, and it was so simple to do. Okay guys, well that's it. My vintage English countryside mantle for fall. No pumpkins, <laughs> very few florals, just a few pieces of fruit and two little um, branches and just my old picture and some LED lights. And I think it gives me exactly what I was looking for where it's very simple, little bit of height, little bit of texture, little bit of color, but not an overabundance. I just wanted to keep things very simple, very cozy, very warm, kind of on the romantic feel, like it, you're walking into an English cottage in the fall. So that's my video for today, guys. Any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you, right down below. If you're also interested in daily things in my life, my Instagram is treasuresbytina28. So you can go over there and see like my daily like if you would like to. And also I have two more videos coming this week one collaboration and then I have my new segment which is afternoon tea with Tina and I already got my first email in so we're gonna have a chat have some tea and talk girl talk so I hope to see you Wednesday at 3 for my next video so anyway guys I hope you have a fantastic day and don't forget use what you have and move it around create a new space spend no money anyway bye guys I hope you have a great day